Hi guys, Tim here doing another uh, military and military review today and this time we'll be on, or oh, this evening, um, we'll be on a really lovely piece of mine. This is a British Royal Air Force or RAF Second World War um, Enfield slash Webley holster. And now what um, a revolver or a pistol would have um, had a purpose for in the, in the RAF Royal Air Force or earlier Royal Flying Corps is um, so basically in the Royal Flying Corps slash RAF during the First World War your life expectancy until you die is roughly a good two, two and a half weeks mm -hmm. but before that you could end your life um, that's why people were carrying revolvers you know Mark VI service revolvers um, the fighter pilots during the First World War but little snub nose, you know, just shorten down a bit. A lot bit. I've actually um, held one as well. Um, so if they, you know, if their plane was shot down and they were going down, and just to say there were no parachutes available or invented at that time at the First World War. <coughs> so what they could do is just end their life instead of crashing to the ground and either you know, surviving, hopefully, or, um, you know, having a different scenario like uh, catching a light or dying very slowly, which is horrible. So, you know, they could end their life, shoot, you know, shoot a bullet through the head. Um, so, and at, so when the Brit when the Royal Air Force, British Royal Air Force, carried, you know, Enfield slash Webley revolvers, because they did carry both during but mainly Enfield revolvers um, which by the look of it now is actually an Enfield revolver holster so when they were carrying when the RF were carrying Enfield uh, slash Webley revolvers around it wasn't really for that purpose it's because they had parachutes at the time of the second world war of course definitely did um, but when they would parachute in, say, it's 1940, occupied France, say, May, June time, um, the British you know, fighter pilot would be um, stuck on a tree or something, had parachuted in, you could quickly whip out its Enfield Webley revolver and pick off the guys who'd come, you know. Of course, it's not, it was different than the First World War, very different. Um, but yeah, there's a lovely piece, it's original. And now you could see it's a bit off colour because um, you get that that non vive of RF blue. But trust me, this is um, an RF version. It's just the blue has totally gone from it, sadly. But uh, you see, I mean, it's missing its cleaning rod. It's a long steel, about really, of course, about about that long. Long piece of uh, wood or steel, really. Um, and has uh, uh, belt buckles, belt hooks there and the reason, so basically the reason how you can tell if it's an old RE, well an out, an out, the uh, British, R British RAF one compared to a um, British military army one um, is the uh, RAF ones and this is on most you know cockpit dials uniform, not really uniforms, but helmets, you know, a lot of things, goggles and boxes, will have this, will have there, AM for Air Ministry, and it's got a King's Crown, so Air Ministry, there, and this is 1938 dated, so this is a year before the war started, there, so 1938 Air Ministry, and that's the inside, and yes, it's a lovely piece, as I said, it used to be originally just all blue, because of the famous REF blue, saying um yeah uh, yeah and um i mean it's in good nick a lot i mean this isn't really it's in good nick but it's not in good condition if you know what i mean it's just because it's not blue you know it's very off color I mean, it's been sitting around or it's been sitting in some old archive shed shack in a museum which i picked up from year about a year or two ago but yeah, <laughs> nice that. So yeah, it's got the air ministry and it always will have a code, which is that along the top there. 
So Air Ministry 716 uh, 10 uh, 1 well sorry King's Crown Air Ministry 716 uh, 101 dash 37 date 1938 yep and yeah lovely that um yeah it's, I mean it's it's all right I mean when I first got it it was laden with you know mold and uh, uh, mice poo and all that stuff but yeah as I say it's a lovely lovely condition I'll just show you some more got the date and the markings you got side you got the around that side it's a lovely condition there all right um but yeah that has been a little review of a British um, Royal Air Force RAF Second World War Enfield slash Webley revolver holster so, thanks for watching guys. See ya. Bye.